Hey guys, let's learn about food chain in this lesson. So when we learn about the food chain, how do we define it? Let's see. We define a food chain as the series of events in which each living organism obtain its food in its environment. Well, this may sound complex. So let's take an example and understand it. First of all, we'll see that when we are talking about the food chain, we have to select an environment. Okay, so let's first select an example of a grassland. In a grassland, when we talk about the food, the food that is available is grass primarily, right? Upon this grass, there will be a feeder, which is the grasshopper. So grasshopper will feed upon the grass, all right? Now, the grasshopper will in turn be eaten up by the frog. Similarly, the frog can be eaten up by a snake. And the snake can be picked up by an eagle. Right? So, you see that these are the series of events taking place in which each living thing is obtaining its food in a particular environment. Here, one very important thing is that most of the food chains you will see, they start with producers, meaning with a plant. Let's take another example and observe it carefully. Next, we'll see the pond. Okay. In pond, again, you will observe that there are small plants present. Right. The phytoplanktons that we call. These small plants, they are eaten up by tiny or the small fishes. Okay. Now, what would happen? These small fishes will get eaten up by large or big fishes. So, you see that this chain is going on, right? One thing is, get, is getting eaten up by the other and the other is getting eaten up by some other, right? So, this is a chain and this is what you call a food chain in which you observe that in a particular environment, it is a series of events taking place in which each living organism is obtaining its food. Now, coming back to our point when we were discussing that in each food chain, you will mainly find that all the first part, okay, all the first level is usually the green plants, okay, and hence we call them producers. So, what are producers? Well, these are those which can perform photosynthesis and can make their own food, okay, because these are the ones upon which the other organisms are feeding up. So, first is the producers. Now, the ones which are feeding upon these plants, they have different, different levels, but we collectively call them consumers. Okay, since they are consuming upon the other organisms, we are calling them consumers. These consumers can be of different, different level, like I said. So, this can be a primary consumer, a secondary consumer, a tertiary consumer and so on. Okay, so these are producers which produces food and these are the consumers which feed upon the producers. Now, there is one more type of organisms wherein let's assume that this eagle dies. Okay, what would happen? This eagle will get decomposed with the help of microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. So, bacteria and fungi, what they'll do is they will regain the nutrients back into the soil, now these nutrients can be taken up by the producers. So, those kind of organisms, they are called decomposers which feed upon the dead and decaying matter, okay? And that's how this chain goes on. So, this was about the food chain in which you have observed that how an animal or an organism, let's say, feeds upon the other one. And this is how this series of events take place which we call as food chain.